All right, here are the questions from people. If Trump loses, do you think Steve Bannon will lead election denial efforts? No kidding. Now that he has been released from prison. He would have done it from prison. Yeah. <laughs> I talked to Steve Bannon. I interviewed him in 2020, and he told me a month before the election that they were going to deny the results. A full month before. He told me that in an oh. interview. That we're going, like, yeah, there's they, no way Trump is going to concede. And I don't suspect he'll do that again. There's only ever two outcomes with them. Either we won. Correct. Or it was rigged. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's. Yes. I can't believe that question. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, we've been living this with this for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know if it's going to. Uh, if Trump went away tomorrow, would that end? I don't think so. I think another person in the Republican would Party would pick up that mantle, don't you think? What, what, what's I, th I don't think there's anything going back from that. No, I don't think so either. Okay. There's Somebody's going to try to take his place. Back. But what's interesting is that in 2020, Bannon and the inner coterie were all emphatic that Trump was going to declare victory even if he lost. And they were explicit about it. They were saying, regardless of whether or not he wins, he will declare victory. Victory. Can I give you one pappy thought, though, on this? Yes. I, I, agree that, I agree that they'll try in the future, but, like, it is really hard to imagine, like, a mob of people storming the Capitol waving J.D. Vance flags. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, there will still be election denialism, but, like, Trump's unique he, char charisma is important, and, like, removing him from the process is a good, positive step. Okay. Yeah. Um, What would the public reaction be if instead of Elon talking to Putin, yes, we found out that Elon Musk does talk to Putin, we learned that George Soros had a secret relationship with <laughs> Chinese President Xi? <laughs> well, good question. The I Elon think. thing is insane. Actually, it's insane to me that it isn't like wall to wall. There's no precedent for the situation we have. He's the biggest donor to Trump. He is, if not the biggest, one of the biggest government con uh, Defense contracts. Yeah, recipients sure. of government contracts. He's talking to Putin. Apparently, during one of the talks with Putin, Putin asked him to do a favor for him for Xi. So she is involved in this, like where, about not giving Starlinks to Taiwan or something like that during the, during the conversation. Yeah, sure. So like, I, I, he, it's not, the Soros example isn't really apt at all because he's on top of Soros. He's also a government contractor and he's also coordinating with our geopolitical foes. It's it's an absolutely insane scandal that I feel like people are like, well, yeah, we know that's happening. Well, Russia and China are close allies now. And we've got North Korean troops that have joined the bloody Russian invasion of Ukraine. Um, so there is like this axis of autocratic powers that have gotten together. And yet we've got Donald Trump and Elon Musk in frequent, often daily contact with them. It was a freak. It was a very fast ascent to I mean, at the beginning of the, the Ukraine war. Elon Musk provided Starlinks for Ukraine. Right. And then said at some point that they would prevent Starlinks from working in certain areas of Ukraine because the Ukrainians were using them for offensive purposes. And, you know, I, I was on this stage when he was here uh, being interviewed. And he was, uh, this was a year and a half, two years ago. And it just seemed like a different person. Today I saw that he's posting videos on uh, Twitter, on X, uh, of, of people trying to vote for Donald Trump and it put, making it a Harris vote. I mean, these are obvious nonsense videos, but this what, is being spread by the person who owns the platform, is the richest man in the world, and has how many, you know, hundreds of millions of followers. It's depressing. What do you make of the statement, I woke up today to the uh, headline that uh, Trump had called for a firing squad for Liz Cheney. And this is what I really don't like about the media. No, he didn't. He did not. You don't, you don't have to move me to not like Donald Trump. He says more so than many already, shitty things. Why it, what, do you have to do that? And by the way, yeah. what, if you don't realize it, well, here's what he said. He's, he's criticizing him for being a war hawk. Yeah. I mean, she is Dick Cheney's daughter. <laughs> he said, she's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her, OK? Let's see how she feels about it. You know, they're all war hawks when they're sitting in Washington in a nice building saying, Saying, oh, gee, we'll send tens of thousands of troops right into the mouth of the enemy. Now, of course, he expresses himself horribly. He has to add, she's a stupid person yeah. because he's well, a Trump moron. Well, Trump knows what it's really like from Vietnam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but just to be clear, this is exactly what hippies always said.
This is exactly what Peace Dicks always said. This is Fortunate Son, the yes. song. It's like, you know what? It's very easy to sit in your building and send young men to die, mm -hmm. but apropos of Ukraine, yes. because, I don't know, that war doesn't look like it's going in the right direction. Not at all, no. But just so, you know, just, just don't lie to me. I don't like Donald Trump. Don't lie to me and tell me she was in, he wants it in front of us a firing squad. He was saying something that, by the way, if it came out of the mouth, some of it, not the stupid part, again, sounds like what hippies used to say but about Bill, not I, sending people to, yes. I, I agree with you on the lying. I mean, that is ridiculous um, and absurd and counterproductive. But when did Donald Trump ever criticize a war hawk the way a hippie did? I mean, was it during Vietnam? He got yeah, out okay. of going to Vietnam, but he didn't criticize I'm not the war or defend, the Iraq war. Jamie, yeah. I'm not defending Trump. Yeah. I'm just saying, don't lie to me. I, I agree with it. that. I mean, that's, that's just it, a I mean, distortion. It's, it's, counter, really really it's counterproductive. I mean, I mean the, the number of Trump people you talk to who, not, uh, who talk about the media and giving them any ammunition like this. I mean, I saw headlines, chyrons on television this morning saying that Donald Trump uh, had said that, that Kamala Harris should be executed. I mean, at the beginning of that kind right. of rambling, incoherent thing, she said, give her a weapon, which is not typically something you do to someone. And again, the executed. spirit of it right? is something that if someone with the blue hat said it, people yeah. would nod along on the yeah. left. Yes, yeah. exactly. There's we plenty of things he says. You don't yes. have to invent them. Can I just say one thing? And, and I agree with you. All, of the, all those criticisms are fair. But there's been a lot of violence, as Nancy Pelosi knows, oh, it's, and, and a yeah. lot of threats. You know, and on both sides. And nine guns you know, in somebody's face is just still not something you really want a president saying. Of course, saying. he's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, half the country yeah. is like, that's the way we all talk. We don't, yeah. or we don't watch yeah. our P's and Q's. I also, I also get I a little he, annoyed about the media, the constant media criticism of the mainstream media. I, this is a fair criticism, but it's like, it's coming oftentimes from people who are like, uh, frequent viewers of the Jesse Waters show or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, the, there's a whole right wing MAGA. Like, it's not 1984, right? Where there are only three networks, and if they're a little bi and if they're biased, if Dan Rather is telling you something that's wrong, that's like a really big deal that right. he's biased because 60 million people are watching Dan right. Rather. It's like as many people right. like are watching yeah. daytime MSNBC as are watching primetime Newsmax, right? So it's like. Uh, you and know what I mean? So obsessing over the watching criticism, either of them. right? They're so watching obsessing TikTok. over the criticism of it, right. I just sometimes they're... think is a little overkill. So JD Vance said teens are becoming, <laughs> teens are purposely becoming trans mm -hmm. to get into elite colleges. <laughs> is that <laughs> well? It is. I, I don't. I don't think it's, that's. How, I don't think I don't that's think why so. teens are becoming trans. <laughs> I, but wow! If, just to throw it all on the table, I, I'm not so sure that elite colleges don't want trans, possibly more than they want people who are not trans. I mean, that's just where the far left is. But I don't think they're purposely doing that. He also said that he would, wouldn't be... <laughs> what's, what's his plan for the White House on that? Inter I, 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 I have no idea. What's the, what's the Trump but, Vance administration going to do? Is there like to... one case of that? Of course not. <laughs> yeah, so. But he said, J.D. Vance said he wouldn't be surprised if he and Donald Trump get the normal gay guy vote. Yes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tim? Yeah. You know, I've, 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 guys yeah. who fuck women. You know, the normal gay guys. I think, I think what, JD, what J.D. Vance means by the normal gay guy vote is the guy who has a blank profile on Grindr, who's messaging, who's, 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 who's messaging uh, actual out gay guys. I think that probably is a Trump All right, I got to go to Vegas. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. <laughs>